Hello, my old school soul food family chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. Nobody loves pulled pork sandwiches better than me. But what I hate about pulled pork sandwiches, it takes so long to cook it, especially if you're cooking outside on the pit. You gotta cook for four to five to six hours the pig, the pork butt, or in the oven, it takes two, three hours. So I figured out a few years ago how to do it in my Instant Pot. I'm telling y'all, if you ain't got an Instant Pot, you better get them. Especially this upcoming summer. I know it's only March right now. This summer, I'm gonna be doing a lot of Instant Pot videos. Go on invest in your Instant Pot and go on get it over with because Chef Jeffrey's gonna be doing a lot of Instant Pot videos. So I developed a way I could do pulled pork in about an hour in the Instant Pot. And that's what we're doing right now. I got a pork butt, of course, 10 pound pork butt. I cut it in four pieces because it, that's the only way it's gonna fit in the Instant Pot if I cut it in four pieces and kind of stuff it down in there. And a pork, pork butt is not the butt of the pig, y'all. It's the shoulder, actually. If, if you look at a pig who's standing on all fours, you look at his feet, you go all the way up to the shoulder part of his, going up from the feet to the shoulder part. That's where the pork butt is cut off of. Pork butt, it's the butt of the leg, actually. It's not the butt of the pig. Uh, just letting y'all know. A lot of people get confused. Oh, that's the butt of the pig. No, it has nothing to do with the butt. It's the uh, butt of the leg part of the pig. So, just want to let y'all know. A lot of people get confused. Okay. All right, y'all. I got a little whiskey shirt shots off. I wa washed my pork butt up already. What I'm going to do, all I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to season this bad boy up. A little whiskey shot put on there. I'm going to save the rest and put it inside the pot. And all I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to use my Uncle Steve's shake. I'm going to use the, the uh, pig powder. The pig shake right here. This stuff is amazing on barbecue, y'all. Uncle Steve pig shake. Put a little of that on there. And then we're going to put a little... We're gonna put a little of the smoke bomb on there. It's gonna give you the smoky flavor. See that? I don't even use uh, liquid smoke anymore. I use this. It's, it's, it's 10 times better than liquid smoke. I'm gonna turn it over here and do the other side the same way. Alrighty. We put a lot of, gonna be very liberal with this, y'all. Put a lot of seasoning on here. This don't have a lot of salt in it either. Season this up really, really good. Let's go back with the smoke bomb. Okay. We good to go here. Push that in there. Wash my hands here. And like I tell y'all, this is the easiest way to uh, get your full pork, get that nice smoky flavor in it, and you ain't gotta do nothing. You ain't gotta light no pit, no nothing, y'all. We're gonna move that to the side. We got uh, Worcestershire sauce here. We got uh, apple cider vinegar, a little brown sugar. And I got me some sliced onions there, y'all. We're gonna bring this bad boy together. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stuff my pork butt in here now. I'm gonna have to stand it up, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all in a second how I get it in here. Another boy in there, just like that. Make sure you stand it up. There we go. I'm gonna move y'all up where y'all can see what I'm doing here. I know y'all, yeah, you can see it. Y'all can see what I'm doing here. Okay, standing it up there. Now let me plug this bad boy in. What do I do with my plug? There it is here in just a second okay next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna put my uh put my onions in here spread them all around i'm gonna put the brown sugar on top of my onions we're gonna add our Worcestershire sauce we're gonna add a little apple cider vinegar that's real apple cider vinegar too y'all real apple cider vinegar not that cheap, not that cheap stuff. That's the real stuff there. Okay, wash my hands off here again. Okay, that's all we're gonna do. Ain't gonna put no more liquid, no nothing. 
Because you know meat has a lot of liquid in it. Now, body's about 85% liquid. Y'all didn't know that, did you? Back check me on that, y'all. Okay. Let me plug this in here. Bad boy plugged in. Put it in here. Alrighty, we're gonna put our lid on here. We're gonna get on there. Make sure it's sealed. And we're gonna go to meat setting here. Move y'all back down where y'all can see. We're gonna go meat setting. We're going 65 minutes, y'all. Going up there 65 minutes. And we're gonna let this thing slow release, y'all, after 65 minutes. 65 minutes, that's it. 65 minutes, y'all. Pretty much an hour it's gonna take to have some poor pork. And what I'm gonna do, I got me some Texas size hamburger buns, and I'm gonna serve it on me some toasted Texas size hamburger bun. I got me some barbecue sauce. I'm telling y'all, it doesn't get no better than this. You got them onions cooking in there with the pork, with that brown sugar, the apple cider. It's like a, gonna be like a Carolina. I know you Carolina barbecue people are gonna come after me, Texas boy. Thinking he know how to make Carolina barbecue. So <laughs> don't hate on me too bad. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back in an hour and a half or so. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. And I let this thing kind of slow release. What I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to put the rest of it. I'm going to release the rest of it. That's like ain't much to release. I ain't got to release nothing. It's slow released on its own. Okay. I'm move it up here. We're going to show y'all what we got here. There we go. Look at this, y'all. And y'all remember, I didn't put any liquid in this. Just that little Worcestershire sauce I had. And this is what we have, y'all. Just falling off the bone tender here. Let me show y'all. Hold in just a second. Just a second, y'all. Here. Hold on, y'all. Let me unplug this. Move this over a little. That's all. That's all them good juices there. That's good. Good eating there, y'all. Good eating. Okay, got a little casserole dish here. And we're gonna pull this out of here. Let's see. That's just good eating, dog. Look at that, y'all. Oh, I'm telling y'all, one hour. Good onions on there. Look at this, y'all. Just good eating. Good eating here. See that bone right there, y'all? Look at this. Just pull that bone right out of there. See that? Bone just gonna come right out of that. Meat gonna come right off that bone. Let's get it off of that, y'all. There we go. There we go. Look at that bone. Look at that bone right there, y'all. Okay, you know I'm gonna get that fat. You know I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna throw that fat away. You know me long enough. You know I'm gonna somehow get that fat off of there. Get the meat off of there. What I'm gonna do, y'all? Just a second. Get my, let me get my spoon here with the holes in it. So we need all, see them onions there? Cause what I'm supposed to do, y'all, I'm gonna pull this with a fork. I'm gonna show you a little of it and then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna show you what I got. But see all them good onions there, y'all? That's all flavor. And see all that juice, that's why you didn't need no juice, you had had no liquid. No nothing to this. Cause the meat has a lot of juice in it. A lot of people don't realize. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna step off and show you what I'm gonna do. All I'm gonna do y'all, we're just gonna pull this, see that? I'm just gonna pull this just like this. See that pork? I'm gonna just pull it, see how tender that is? And once I get it all pulled, see that? Look how tender that is y'all, see that? You know how tender that is, it's just coming apart. Look at this, see that? You know how tender that is, y'all. It's just pulling apart tender. So I'm gonna get it all pulled off and I'm gonna show you 
I'm gonna put a little of this liquid. See this liquid here? Hold on, y'all. Let me get a. Oh, you smell so good. Liquid right there. Once I pull it, I'm gonna take some of this liquid and I'm gonna pour on top of that too. And let all that liquid soak in there. That's all flavor, y'all. And then I'm gonna have me some buns toasted up. I'm gonna make me a. I got me some pickles and onions. We can just throw down in here, y'all. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay. Y'all see, I got some of that poured real good. So what I like to do, y'all, take some of this pure juice here so this don't be dried out. And pull in that flavor. It's all flavor, y'all. Kind of mix it in there so this don't dry out. Look at that, y'all. That's just good. That's just good old pulled pork. It smells absolutely amazing. So I'm going to move this out the way. out the way right here now I got me some uh I got me some pickles and onions here y'all this is what I'm gonna do I got me some toasted buns oh y'all back here a little toasted buns here got me some toasted buns look at that some Texas size toasted buns y'all what I do here out the way. Let that pulled pork on there, y'all. I'm telling y'all, that's just that's good eating here, y'all. Good eating here, y'all. Nice and tender and flavorful. Pulled pork. I just say, put some meat on there, y'all. And what I do. Grab me some barbecue sauce here. <clears throat> Give me a little barbecue sauce on there. I use my use my little my, my loose barbecue sauce for this one. Have the thick kind. Get you some onions on there, y'all. Some thin sliced onions on there. A little pickles. Like that. Some more onions on this one. Some pickles on there, y'all. Throw that bun on there like that. It's good to go. So what I'm gonna do, y'all? I'm gonna step off, do my world famous YouTube thumbnail, and we're gonna come back and we're gonna throw down, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Yeah, I got two here. I got something for my neighbor here. Do that one on over at the side. Let me give me a little bit more sauce. I think I got more sauce on there. What y'all think? What y'all think here? What y'all think here? That's a sandwich, y'all. What y'all think? A bit more sauce on there. Put just a little bit. I'm, I love my sauce, y'all. Put a little bit more sauce on there. That's a good Texas barbecue sauce on there. And we put the throw down on here, y'all. Okay. Here goes. You get a good bite. Look at that. Look at that. The sauce is coming out of that. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. I'm telling y'all, this is so flavorful. Juicy, tender. Got that smoke in there. Oh, yeah, I get a napkin here. Get a napkin. That smoke in this. I'm done. Uncle Steve's smoke powder. Got that crunch of the onion there. Another bite. Mm, 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 mm. A messy sandwich, y'all. It's so good. Get you a fresh Texas bun. Toast it all. Put your, uh, God, let me break some off here. I don't see that. Look at that. That's good eating. Mm, mm, mm. Pickle with the barbecue sauce on it. <coughs> mm. Wow. But you got the little sweetness from the barbecue sauce. That tang from the pickles and the little apple cider. 
vinegar and then that sweetness from the brown sugar I put in there. Perfectly seasoned with the, I can see pork uh, seasoning. Mm, mm, mm. I think you've worked all day outside with this, y'all. And then when that, just look how it's soaked into that bun, y'all. You know that's good eating. And soaked into that bun. Mm. Okay. Mm. That's a good sandwich, huh? Yeah, who you yeah. That's a good sandwich. And this meat here, what I'll do, I'll freeze this meat. Let me move this over. The meat here, I'll let it cool down. I put it in the little individual bags. Label it pulled barbecue pulled pork. Anytime I want pulled pork sandwiches, I got it. Pull it out. I'm good to go. So, anyway, y'all, just a nice little quick video here to show you how to utilize that instant pot that you got sitting in your counter over there for the past two years and haven't you opened it. You got a valuable piece of equipment there. Get it out of use. I'm going to just come up with a lot of recipes, y'all. So anyway, let me close the video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023? Just show some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have some blessed Old School Soul Food Day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.